This is me, Josh Source, investigating what is known as the most haunted tunnel in Canada. The Blue Ghost Tunnel. This place has a gruesome history that I'm going to get into in just a moment, but I just wanted to show you guys just how creepy this place really is. During our investigation, later on in the video, we captured lots of evidence, so stay tuned to the end. Walking through the tunnel, we had a very eerie mist throughout the whole tunnel the entire time. It was very scary finding things and remnants of people being there in the past. Spray paint, beer cans, and a lot of other things. These are the raptors that they've had to install into the tunnel to keep the tunnel safe. Without the raptors, these tunnels would fall. This is all due to a train crash that happened. Before I get too far into this, let's give you guys some history so you know some background knowledge of this place. The Blue Ghost Tunnel. The Blue Ghost Tunnel, also known as the most haunted tunnel in Canada, was built in 1875. During that construction, it left over 100 workers dead and the gruesome history continues. Still in 1875, a 14-year-old was killed by when they were crushed under a large rock that collapsed in the tunnel. And then on January 3rd, 1903, at 7.03 a.m., two large trains collided in the tunnel and caused a massive crash, killing four workers aboard the trains. Since the incident in 1903, the tunnel has been closed and now known by locals as one of the most haunted locations in the area. Now that we've gone over the history of this place, we continued walking through the whole tunnel, reaching the end that was completely flooded by a river on the other end. The tracks are gone, but the wood is still there and this place was super eerie, not being able to see the end from the other side. As we started making our way out, someone else was coming in. It was quite eerie. Not knowing who this person was, we were quite scared and on edge, but we could see their flashlight from the other end coming in. As we got closer to the exit, that person was nowhere to be seen. They were gone. It was kind of weird. It looked like a train light even. We weren't sure, but like, going back over it, it really did look like a train light. Was this a ghost? Was this a person? Was someone creeping up on us and we captured them in the act? What was really going on? Due to this, we decided to start our investigation and capture, to capture some evidence to see what was going on. All right guys, so I got myself a spirit box here. My friend Logan over there, he has the K2 device. The K2 device will spike if there's any spirits around the area. This device here will actually be able to communicate with them. And down here I got some dowsing rods and I'll be using that as well to communicate if we get some activity in the first place. So to start off, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn on the uh, spirit box, have it running, we'll ask a few questions. Yeah. What's that? It sounds like glass. It is? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. No, you're good. You're good. You're you're like yeah, boys, if, did you guys hear anything at all? Let me know. It's, this, like, it's like one of the things that we use, right? We should go in more. We should go in more. Okay, I'm down. You good? You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. You know, I'm having it on the floor behind you. Hello. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Yeah. Who's gonna call? Who's gonna call? Ghostbusters. Hello. My name is Josh. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with me? If you'd like to communicate with me, you can make noises in the tunnel, you can make noises on my spirit box, you can make this device that my friend's holding go off. At any point of this investigation, if you need to use my energy, you can do so. And please know that I'm not here out of disrespect. I'm here out of respect just to communicate with you guys and see if we can get anything. Stay here. All right, guys, the battery just died on that device, and this happens all the time at these ghost investigations, so I'm going to have to switch the battery really quick. Just give me a second. Seven. <laughs> Is it recording again? Yep. All right, guys, so we just got the battery changed on that. You guys can both see that it's full charge, so I'm not tripping you guys up. Yep. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you have that flashlight. Thank you. All right, guys, let's get into that again. Is there anybody here?
Is that you making that noise now? Uh, Hello? My name is Josh. What's your name? Get it there. Like it there. Was there a crash here? Yes? Did it take your life? That was freaky. Yeah, no, I know. We're here to communicate. We're not here to cause any harm. So if you are here, please do communicate with me. You can use my energy if you need to do so. Can you tell me any information about what happened here? There's like a little girl voice. Mm -hmm. And a little girl did pass away here. Hello? What is your name? I heard stuff down there. Yeah, yeah, I heard something bang down there. Would you like us to come down more? If we come further, would you communicate with us? So far, K2 device has not gone off at all. And the spirit box really hasn't said too much either. We've heard a few bangs at the end of the tunnel. But that's pretty much it so far. If you are here, this is going to be one of your last chances to tell us. What year did the crash happen? Heard like a growl. Yeah. growl. I swear, I'm hearing things, but it's not. It's not even the phone. I'm hearing stuff down there. Yeah, shit from down there, right? Yeah. Make it, make a loud bang. Make the loudest bang you can. I'm gonna turn off box and just try to communicate with noises because that's what it seems like we're getting more of. Can you communicate with us using a bang? If you're here, are you, can you make a noise? Now that we're quiet, they don't it's want quiet, to. quiet, yeah. Is that meter still good? Anything gone off yet or not? This has been pretty quiet, guys. And it is nighttime too, like it's dark out, so I'm not 100% sure why we wouldn't be getting anything unless this place really isn't too haunted, so. Make a loud bang. Oh. Mm. That was like instant, though. Bigger bang? A louder bang than that? Th throw something in the, in the water. Or something. Like a rock or something. Knowing that this place was haunted, we started to resort and maybe even taunting the spirits just to see if we can get anybody to make some noise or chase us out or anything like that. We knew it was haunted because of the past history on this place, as well as what we saw earlier in the video. There's clearly nothing here if you can't make a noise. Scare us out of here. Okay, if you're not here, then we're not going to talk to you anymore.
and just like that our camera completely stopped recording. As you can see in the video, it glitched out, had a freak out on us. This caused us to get very scared and we ran out. With this place behind us, running out of a forest at night time, we kept hearing noises from inside the building. We even heard a girl scream at one point. We made it to our car and got out of there. I do think this place is very haunted, to be honest with you. It's just weird because when on a camera, it doesn't want to present much. Just like that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and share it to a friend. As always, I love you, take care, and peace.